Welcome everybody to Fergo and the Freak. My name is the Glorious League Freak. This is episode 173 and a little bit of breaking news in the National Rugby League. We've done another breaking news podcast a few days ago. We've seen how you enjoy these. But the breaking news today is that Shark Centre Bronson Sherry has been provisionally suspended for breaching the NRL's anti-doping policy. Uh, There has been a number of substances that have come back from a test that was taken of Sherry last year in November. And so, and it was from the 25th of November, 2019, he was tested by ASADA under the uh, NRL's testing regime and he's pissed hot and he has come back with uh, four different substances that they're not happy with. He is now not allowed to participate in games, obviously. He's not allowed to participate in training. Um, The Sharks have put out a statement saying that they're going to let the investigation run its course. And, of course, you've got to allow for the B sample to come back for this. But, I mean, this is a terrible, terrible decision that has allegedly been made by Bronson Sherry. Um, If you don't know, in the Sydney media, Sherry, even going back to last year, He's been in the media a lot talking about how he's been working with the sprint coach and how he is faster than he had been previously. And, well, you know, I think anyone would be faster taking this list of uh, alleged substances that he's been found to be taking in his system. Anyway, um, the B sample will come back eventually. He would be looking at I think a four-year ban out of this. I think that with the uh, substances that he has been alleged to have been taken, it would be at least four years unless there was some sort of circumstances involved. But a really, really big story that is just broken now. Um, Man, this is terrible for the Sharks because obviously with things that have happened in the past for them, they haven't got the greatest reputation in terms of um, substance use, whether it was uh, purposeful or accidental, this is really going to tarnish the club and is not going to make it very easy at all for them to, um, you know, at a, at a really bad time too. I mean, everyone's just coming back into the rugby league season. There's going to be issues with sponsors and things like that for every club. You've basically got to renegotiate a lot of your deals and this isn't something that the Cronulla Sharks needed to be dealing with at all. Um, as for Sherry, there's he was in high demand. Uh, there was a lot of talk that he might be leaving the Sharks, not so much this year, but next year. And, well, that is obviously all up in the air now. Um, terrible, terrible news, really, and, and the sort of news that the NRL itself didn't need going into the start of the new season, well, the restart of the season on Thursday night. Uh, what a big blow for the Sharks. I mean, Sherry is a, a really key player for them. He's a great strike weapon. Uh, he's. I would have thought that he would have been in calculations for New South Wales this year, but, you know, all that goes out the window now. Um There'll be a lot of different ways this is spun by the media. I tend to think that this is a positive thing. It shows that the NRL's testing regime is really good, that it's in place, that even out-of-competition testing is going to get you if you're doing anything you shouldn't be doing. With the substances that they've got here, and I'll put the substance names in um, in the description of this episode, you know, there's a point where when you get pinged, if it's for certain substances, it's a little bit of an IQ failure, quite honestly. And yeah, this is just terrible. Really, really bad news for the Sharkies. Bad news for the game overall. Um, you never like to see a player decide to make this this decision to go down that pathway, I guess. It wasn't like he needed to get an edge either. Like he was already one of the most uh, explosive centers in the game, if not the most explosive center. So to see this happen, 
Uh, really, really sad. Really sad overall. I'm sure Sharks fans will be copping it now over this. And I guess if you're a Sharks fan, you just got to, you know, cop it on the chin, don't you? Um, this happened a little bit too often. And, you know, I think that the NRL needs to go back to the club and maybe sit the people down at the top of the club and say, hey, look, you know, we've dealt with this before and we're dealing with this again. And, yeah, it might be just in, on an individual case, but it's something that the Sharks should not have been going through anytime soon, especially from what they have gone through as a club overall. They've been through a lot. And, you know, Sherry would have known that. He was there for the hangover of that. It's just crazy. It's it's crazy to me that he would have thought that this is something he could have done. Uh, so, yeah, breaking news. We're going to do these every so often if there's a really big story. We won't do it for every story, but this is a really big story. Um, so, yeah, just a, a short episode. So we'll wrap this one up. Um, if you have anything to say on this, we'll obviously do a follow-up podcast to this. Send your questions or anything you've got to say to podcast at leaguefreak.com. Me and Andrew will obviously talk about this in great depth uh, in our next podcast. And until then, thanks for listening and thanks for subscribing.